Hello my little cherry blossoms and welcome back to another episode of Zoocraft. Of course we start in another beautiful morning on Zoocraft and I love the view from I can see the fox habitat we built in the very last episode. I can also see the top of what I'm assuming is Jess's house. I'm pretty sure that's Jess's hill that she has built her home inside of. And we can kind of see the other habitat over there. I want to make like a watchtower so we can have a better view of everything all at once. I think that would be really, really fun. If you guys missed the last episode, basically we went ahead and built a fox habitat and we also moved the wolves into their habitat. But I have a little surprise for you guys and let me show you right now. Way to spoil the surprise, buddy. I found two wild wolves. It was the wolves that were looking at the tree um, and like really angry. When I joined the world again, they had kind of gotten out of that. I'm assuming they were glitched. Um, and so I'm gonna add them to the wolf habitat and I'm so excited. Come on, buddies. Come on. No eating animals on the way. You got it? Good. <laughs> Let's actually go ahead and go get their name tags real quick while we're on our way to the exhibit. You guys are gonna have such a nice home. Now, I'll be honest, they did eat a couple animals while I was trying to wrangle them, so they're not that hungry, but I will get some more food for them. Hello, Jessa. I found more wolves, so I'm going to quickly use your anvil and name them. So we have uh, Mom, Tilda, Jax, and Jade. I think we're gonna name these Katie and Xena. Oh, I love it. Hello, puppers. Go ahead and name you guys. Oh, God. Name you guys in a safe way. Jeez, okay. Bye, Jessa. Thanks for lending me intrude your house. <laughs> okay, let's go to your guys' new home. Come on, come on. Not too far. Now you guys are gonna have to go. Oh, God. No, no. Bad, bad wolves. You're coming along this way. We're gonna find another way into the habitat. Guess we're gonna make a dirt entrance because these little wolves are being snippy. Come, oh my God. Okay, let's get Katie in and then we can get the other guy in. Okay, good. Oh, good. okay. Looks like you guys are going to need a wider path. That's okay. I got plenty of dirt. Come on, come on. A little further. Buddies, why would you do that? Oh my gosh, okay. Come on. Do we need an even wider path? Huh? We're good. We're good. Good. I'm gonna make a little path. Okay. Why? Why would you do that? What is the point? Come back up here. That's right, buddy. Okay, come on. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. You're safe now. Okay, now that we, through a lot of trial and error, got them into the pin, um, let's go ahead and feed the little guys. There you go, guys. Xena and Katie. Okay, I've been finding this problem happening a lot recently. The wolves have been able to like see through the walls and get really angry at animals outside. Um, where's the other guy? Here's Jax, here's Mom Tilda. We got Xena and Katie. Where's Jade? Oh, they were inside of one another. Okay, I see how it is. Oh, they look like the same person right now. Wow, interesting. I tried to fix the issue by putting another layer of wood, but it's still not really helping. So I think we're just gonna have to accept the fact that they get a little snippy occasionally. So our next, <laughs> our next avenue of adventure is going to be connecting the path to the fox exhibit with our main path so that we can go ahead and get a uh, better kind of layout of the zoo. Where is the cobble? There is the cobble. And then do we have any more gravel? I don't think so. Might have to go searching for more gravel because I don't see any. Okay, let's go ahead and go over here and we will connect the path right here. Sorry, little tree, but you're kind of in the way. I'll replant your saplings though, no worries. Okay, kind of want it to be kind of scattered. Let's continue a little further. Also, my throat is feeling a lot better today. In the last episode, my voice was a little scratchy, so today it's feeling a lot better. Okay. Oh, I love the birch forest over here. I'll have to have another exhibit. Oh, Lucy's still over there. Hmm, strange. Totally not because I forgot to move her NPC or anything. Okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and continue building over here. So we're gonna have basically all of this be cobble. And some of you guys had great ideas to add benches. So I'm going to be adding benches. The main amenities I want to add for guests is mainly just stuff like benches and um, maybe a food stall or two. I want to make sure the guests can see the animals well, but not at the cost of the animals living, if that makes sense. Oh no, I used the wrong path. It's okay. I can fill this one back in. 
And just like that, we ran out of cobble. That's no good. Let's go mine some more. There's our mine. Oh, and gravel. That actually worked out well. <gasps> coal! Yes, we've been running low so low on coal. Okay, I saw someone do this once, and I want to try it. Um, boop. <gasps> oh my gosh, it worked. <laughs> Grabbing all the coal. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. And now to grab more cobble. I've learned my lesson in Fallen Stars SMP to always crouch when doing this. <gasps> yeah, I wasn't the brightest. I don't really know how many we need, but I'm just gonna get at least a stack. So much gravel. Don't mind if I take some of that. Now, I only have a singular torch right now, so I'm just gonna kind of light it up halfway to hope that not as many mobs spawn down here. And now that we have almost two stacks of cobble and quite a bit of coal, we can go head back up to the surface. <gasps> oh, it's nighttime. Oh, it's so beautiful at night. I wish it wasn't as scary with all the monsters, though. Nap time. Ah, oh, morning. Beautiful sunny day. So now that we have plenty of gravel as well as cobble, we can continue the path. Let's get rid of some of this cobble and replace it with gravel. There we go. Now just to get some of the slabs so that it's a little easier to traverse. Okay, 24. I feel like that should be enough, but then again, I've been really bad at judging how many blocks I need. I've kind of come to the conclusion with blocks, more the better. So I might be needing more. Oh, that actually worked. Awesome. So now that we have a pathway to our fox habitat, we can actually get started on housing foxes there. Now, the only problem is, is I don't think we're gonna be able to find any foxes because the mod we have for foxes, we might have to do some research on how to get them. So I asked you guys over on my Discord server if you guys wanted pigs, butterflies, or other. And you guys actually tied the score as of right now when I'm recording this. If it got beat, Outside of the video, I apologize. As of right now, it is 555. Five, five. All things, five votes. And so, I didn't really know which one to do next, so I thought I'd leave it up to you guys. Comment down below if you guys would like a butterfly avi aviary, a pig habitat, or something else. Let me know. I know one of the other top contenders is hedgehogs as well as an aquarium, which I also think would be really, really cool. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've been jonesing to explore a little bit of the outside area. I really haven't seen anything outside of where we've been building. So I wanted to get a better kind of idea of what's around and the kind of biomes that we can journey to. So let's get a higher view first and foremost. Uh, there we go. Okie dokie, let me turn up my render distance. Okay. Letting everything load in. Oh, there's water over there. I didn't even know. Okay. Another beehive. Very nice. I know that area over there is really pretty, so we're gonna have to go look over there. Oh my god, there's a village right over there? Oh my god, let's go explore it! Oh my god, there's literally a village right there. That's crazy. Oh my god, it's a fish! It's two fish! I didn't know they were gonna naturally spawn in! Hello, little guys. Because I have a mod, I didn't know if they were gonna naturally spawn in or not. <gasps> Pumpkins, we can make pumpkin pie. Let's see, climbing on up, do ba do do. Hello, little guy. Let's see, I don't know how big this village is. It might just be like two houses. Oh, my goodness, it is not two houses. It's like a full village. That's awesome. We're so close to one. Guys, I genuinely had no idea. I knew there was a village like way over there, but I didn't know there was one so close to the zoo. I'm gonna steal some of your crops. Apologies. But I assume you guys won't mind. I have animals to feed after all. Hi, buddy. Okie dokie. Let's go. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Hello. This is quite the area to traverse, isn't it? I'm worried that there might be a little villager stuck in here. So let's go ahead and look. And yep, there is. Of course. There always seems to be one at least stuck. Hello. Nice house you got here. You're free now. That's very dangerous. But I respect the drip. Okie dokie. Let's grab some more of these crops and continue traveling. I might steal some of their torches to be completely honest because that's one resource I have repeatedly felt. <gasps> Bookshelves. I don't have silk touch, I don't think. No, I don't. Um, hmm. How do you make a bookshelf again? Books and wood, okay. I'm thinking we might steal some of these. Don't tell anyone. Don't mind if I do. I don't think villagers can read very easily, so I'm not doing them any harm. Let's grab some of that. 
And anything else? Oh, I love this house. I love these types of village houses. And let's grab all these. Or as many as we can, at least. Hi, buddy. Are you trapped in your house? Uh, of course you are. One second. I'll help you out. Oh, wait, no. You're not trapped. Buddy, your door's fine. <gasps> Pumpkin. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna grab some of these. I'll leave some so that I don't deplenish them completely of their pumpkin patch. But I am going to be replanting them, so they will be getting more out of me doing it than they would if they just, you know, kept them all for themselves. They're not replanting them. Now, the real question is, do they have a blacksmith? Because that is where you find the good loot. At least, I think. I'm kind of a Minecraft noob. Also, my sore throat may be gone, but my nose is a little... <gasps> Gosh, my game like completely froze. My sore throat's completely gone, but I am a little bit like nasally today and I apologize if it is annoying anyone. My nose is kind of stuffed up today. I'm assuming it's just allergies. Oh my goodness, that is like a death tower of a house. Let me help whoever's up there down. Hello? Hi, there you go guys. Enjoy freedom. Um, I don't see a blacksmith's. So I think we're just gonna head off. There's nothing to loot in here, right? I didn't think there was. Nope. Well, you guys are free to come to my zoo whenever you want. More than welcome. Okie dokie. I think we are towards that direction, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, a fish. Cool. Ah, uh, the sun's setting. We better get home. This is the area I was talking about, though, that's, like, really, really pretty. That we could totally make... <gasps> Ooh, berries! We could totally make this area into, like, the pig area. I think that would be really cute. And like we could keep like the pigs, the cows, the chickens, like all that in this area. Because I feel like that this is the biome that they would feel the most comfortable in. Okay, it's getting dark. Let's hurry on. Light. Thank goodness. <gasps> Hi. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted, Izzy. Hello, wolves. Good night. Good night, Mr. Cow. And let's hop into bed. Oh. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Let me know what you guys would like as the next habitat down in the comments down below. If you guys would like to vote on the official polls, click the link in the description that links you to my link tree. Click the Discord button and you will be linked directly to my Discord. I genuinely can't decide between a pig habitat and a butterfly aviary. They both sound amazing and we'll do them both eventually, but which one should we do first? Thanks for watching and I'm going to do some research on foxes. Bye!